In the dplyr library, you can rename columns and you can also sort the data based on a given column using the rename and arrange functions respectively. So in this lesson, we're just going to show how to use those. First, we're going to load in some data, the empty cars data set, and we're going to take a look at it to see the names of the variables. You can see a lot of the variables in this data set are abbreviated to things that you might not know without looking at some kind of data key, what they are. So renaming variables can be a way to make them easier for people to understand what they are. So we're just going to use the rename function to give some of these variable names things that are easier to understand. So first we're going to make a variable named subset. We're going to pipe the data into the rename function. And now for every variable you want to rename, you just type the new name you want and then equals the old name of the column. So in this case, we're going to say the new name is miles per gallon and the old name of the column that we're renaming was MPG. So miles per gallon is a lot easier to understand what it is. Cylinders, we're going to rename sill to cylinders. And for weight, the WT column, we're just going to rename it the full word weight. We're also just going to pipe that into select and select only those columns that we just renamed. As you can see, we managed to rename those three columns to longer names that are a full description of what they are. Now the arrange function lets you sort a data frame by a variable of interest. Now that we have some nice variable names, why don't we sort this data frame by a variable, perhaps miles per gallon, because it'd be interesting to see which of these cars get the best MPG. So to do that, we'll take our subset, pipe it in as input to arrange, and then you just do arrange and pass in whatever that variable name is that you want to sort by. And then we'll just look at only the first six entries here. As you can see, the data was sorted by miles per gallon, but it is sorted in ascending order. So we actually have the car with the worst MPG first, worst being the lowest. So 10.4, this Cadillac Fleetwood, and the Lincoln Continental are tied for the worst MPG. So if we want to answer our original question of which car had the best MPG, we're actually going to have to sort and arrange in descending order. So to do that, you can also use the arrange function. You just have to pass in this DESC function first. So you pass the column you want to DESC, and then you pass that whole thing into a range. And when we run that, it'll do the same operation, except it'll flip the order so that the cars with the best MPG will be first, and then it will be descending from there. So we will run that. As we see, the most fuel efficient car in this data set is the Toyota Corolla. So now we know how to rename variables and also sort data by a given variable, but sometimes the data sets you'll load in won't have all the variables in them yet that you want. So if you want to add new variables, say by combining two different existing columns, you can do that using the dplyr library and the mutate function. So in the next lesson, we'll look at mutate.